This is Embellish Maker. When we first open the screen, you can expand to see all of your tools. We're going to select a new page and then we're going to go to File and Open. And I am using the Flamingo design from the Quilted Door Stoppers. When you open the design, before you click Open on the bottom, you must select Convert to Outlines for the chenille function to work. We're going to select open and inside comes the chenille design. Let's select the entire design and come on over to our properties window. You can make it hide or expand by clicking on the arrow. I want to click on the sequence view and find the outline of the flamingo. Let's click on color one. So on color one, I'm going to select this in the properties and sequence in the sequence window, and then I'm going to travel over to the convert function. Again, if you don't see the tools on the side, all you have to do is create click on expand all. I'm going to scroll down to convert. Here I will find the chenille function. So watch in the middle of the flamingo what happens when I do the one click wonder chenille. Are you ready? Done. I have created chenille. Now one thing I want you to notice back in the sequence view this one color expanded now to three. We have a placement line for the chenille applique foundation piece. We have the tack down line and then we have the chenille columns. That's perfect just the way it is. But the second tack down that stitches before the satin stitch, we want to delete this. So to go ahead and select it and then you can right click and then choose delete. Now I have the design just like I want it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to come to file, save as, and then I would name my design whatever I want it to be and leave it as a WAF. That is the native editable file in Embellish Maker. I'll save that and now I'll go back and I will save this into the embroidery format that my machine needs. I'll be needing PES, so I will save that to PES. Now we're going to go to the embroidery machine and I'll show you how to sew or rather embroider this flamingo. Now that I've shown you how to create the chenille design in Embellish Maker software, Let's come to the embroidery machine and let me show you how to stitch it out. Some of the things that you're going to need are, we're just stitching this on a t-shirt like you saw in the picture. So you're gonna want to use embellish fusible soft cutaway. I've ironed that to the back of my t-shirt and I've hooped the t-shirt. We're also going to want to use the embellish rinse away topper. Because we're using a t-shirt knit material, we would not want to use an iron away topper because we want it to dissolve away. This is also going to help lay down our chenille layers. What I've done is I've hooped my t-shirt and I use some embroidery perfection tape to kind of keep it out of the way. Now upstairs I have a free arm embroidery machine and that would be ideal to do it on, but not all of us own one of those. So it is possible to do a t-shirt on a flatbed embroidery machine. Just, I've learned from experience, you wanna make sure there's nothing underneath the hoop and kind of just gather the layers together and tape it. Now, we have pre-cut out the flamingo head and the beak. And there's a previous video on machine applique that shows how to cut this out 
and to create the cut files. So we're going to go ahead and I've already stitched the placement line, which is color number one. I'm using the luscious eye candy nap embellished threads. Now that I've stitched color number one, it's the placement line for the flamingo. So I also have the foolproof repositionable webbing fused to the back of my cotton fabric and then I digitally cut it out. You want to score this so that you can remove the release paper. By scoring it in the middle, it, the paper comes off easier than if you were to remove it from the edge. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and move this just so I can see it. And I want to make sure that I get this lined up perfectly. Because it is cut to size, I'm going to iron it perfectly. Then I would take my iron and I would go ahead and fuse this applique fabric to the t-shirt. It is a permanent fuse. So if you didn't even want to sew and you wanted a quick uh, idea for a baby onesie and a baby shower, this is the product that you would use, the foolproof repositionable webbing. For camera's sake, we're just gonna pretend that I did fuse it on. Now what's great about this is I can see, you know what, I don't have it lined up perfectly. And that's okay because that's where the repositionable part of the foolproof repositionable webbing comes in place. I can pick it up and reapply it. It's like a giant sticker as many times as I need to get it in the perfect place. All right, so I'm going to use black thread. I obviously would probably use matching thread, but for camera purposes, I think you'll see the black better. Now I'm not going to use the topper. This is the tack down. Now that it's done, the next stitching is going to be the chenille channels. Before I embroider those, I want three pieces of cotton fabric, or you could use the double gauze fabric for even more fluff. They can be all the same fabrics, or they can be different fabrics like I have here. So we're just gonna kind of stack those in place, and all I wanna do is cover up my flamingo, and you can see I have all three layers. And now I'm going to go ahead and stitch the chenille channels. And when we come back, I'll trim them up. Now that my chenille channels are finished sewing, I'm going to take the embroidery hoop off of the machine and show you how to trim in between the channels. Okay, so I have trimmed around the flamingo. Now what I want to do is trim in between the channels. So you can use a pair of scissors and you just want to trim right up the middle of, through all three layers. So you'll want to make sure that you trim really close so I've kind of made sure that the chenille ended where that applique placement line. I have everything cut down the middle of the channels and now I'm ready to apply the rinse away water soluble topper. Now, one thing, this is just cotton fabric as you saw before, but if you weren't sure when I mentioned double gauze, this is what it looks like. It's a very open weave and this will give you even more fluff. So if you can find some of this in the color you want, then this is great to use. You would use three layers of this instead of the cotton fabric. All right, let's go ahead and put this back on the hoop. But before I do that, I am going to take my water soluble topper and I'm going to lay it down. Once I get it on the hoop, I can tape it in place. So now that I have the topper over the chenille channels, it's going to go ahead and stitch for a while the pink fill stitches and the satin stitch. So stay tuned, I'll show you how to add the last applique piece and then we'll go to a final shot of our finished project. My flamingo is done, isn't that cute? Let's take this out of the hoop and we'll just get this out of the way.
And what I'm going to do for t-shirt, and I'll do this off camera, but on the back, of course, I wanna trim my long threads, and I'm gonna trim this really close to the stitching line, even up inside of here. And if this happens to be scratchy on the child's body when they wear the shirt, you could use our fusible underlay. And you, we have a video on that product, but it's just something that you could fuse on there. And if you use steam, it's permanent. And that would just protect the skin from being irritated. Let's turn this right side out and check out our flamingo. Now I'm going to want to go ahead and remove the water soluble topping. And because this will rinse away completely, when we put it in water, it'll even rinse out underneath those stitches. So to fluff my chenille, the first thing I'm gonna do is just get rid of that. And you're gonna take a stiff brush. You could even use a toothbrush. This happens to be a little wire a chenille brush. And in a circular motion, I am going to fluff my chenille. And so I'll just do half of this so you can see the difference. If you wanted to fluff it a little more, here's a tip. If you spritz it with water, then you can fluff. That helps. Also, as you wash this, each time it's going to fray because after all, this is raw edge and it's going to get even fluffier. And I find myself using a little bit of pressure and I'm going circular motion. This is really cool. You can really see, remember I used three different colors of fabric and that kind of makes her look straight. Love it. So I would just keep fluffing that until I can't fluff it anymore. And the good thing is because we sliced the chenille channels before we fluffed them, we were able to stitch the eye and this portion right over the slit open channels, but you would never know it because it still looks great. So I hope you'll give this a try. Remember, Embellish Maker is the bomb.com. And if you happen to own Craft & Cut, remember it loads completely and functions inside of Embellish Maker software. So I could add some cute little text at a heat transfer foil, like Stand Tall Darling, or Welcome to the Flock, or something else to give me a mixed media t-shirt. Thanks for watching and check out our other videos on hopeyoder.com or rnk-embellish.com.